Hello everyone and welcome to a little bit of a unique video regarding the DC Universe miniature game by Night Models which I have played numerous times on the channel. It has been a little bit but played it quite a lot and Night Models is a small company. They of course do the Batman miniature game. They've done a few Kickstarters and such. So they're spread a little thin so in order to keep the DC Universe miniature game going and indeed to try and breathe some new life into it as well they have teamed up with MyMiniFactory.com to run a crowdfunding campaign on there to bring out old and new releases for the game via STL files. Now that does mean you need a 3D printer. My Mini Factory got in touch with me and provided some 3D printed samples to give you an idea of the quality, size, etc. I don't have a 3D printer. This isn't paid for or anything though. This is no money has exchanged hands. I'm just showing them off. And I have some of the old models of some of the examples they've sent me that uh, Night Models released back in the day. So I can compare them for you, show you the difference in quality, you'll have to look past my paint job of them, obviously. And I will be linking the campaign on my mini factory in the description, it's not an affiliate link or anything like that. You can just click through and see for yourself. It is a way to get old releases for the game, present ones, and some that they just couldn't get around to releasing. We'll actually see one example of that here. But there's a bunch of characters I wish I had a 3D printer for because I wanted them, such as Brainiac. Um, but you will also get a PDF version of the hardback rulebook. I did a full review of this back when it released, so I'm not going to tread old ground here. You can go back and see that if you'd like. You get a PDF of this, you get a PDF of all the character stat cards, except the ones who are just skins for our existing characters. Um, they eventually got them down to like credit card size, stats on the front, special stuff on the back. Super easy and you don't need any other tokens if you're unfamiliar with the game entirely, although this explains it all. I just used a mixture of D6s and D12s when I played. You can go back and look at those battle reports if you want to see actual examples. Alright, let's zoom in a little bit and have a look however. I will mention uh, they are not fitted with bases by default, however they have added some different base types you can print off. They actually look better than these old ones they used to have. They actually have quite a bit of variety in them. You will have to print them yourself. I think I have some spare ones of this type back in the day I can put these on. But hey, let's start with Batman on Batman. Oh, specifically this is Batfleck, I think. So, I'm gonna zoom in real close. Here is, hopefully in focus, the old release by Night Models to just give you an idea of the quality they provided their miniatures in. Again, just have to excuse my paint job on it. And then we have printed from the STL file provided on the uh, crowdfunding campaign. The size is identical, I think, at least at my eye. Although he's looking forwards now instead of to the side. So that's slightly different. Is that just me? <laughs> Am I imagining it? Yeah, or maybe I just applied the head on this wrong. I don't remember. It's been that long, but more or less, it is the same miniature. If I just put them at even ground there, you can see that they are indeed even. And in terms of quality, all the dents of the armor are still there. The mold lines on the legs, for instance, that have been picked up there, they're all visible to me. It looks like a decent quality, and it feels it's not flexible at all. There's a decent quality 3D print, and the STL file looks to me like it has retained all the stuff you need and it looks good a little bit of cleanup required right there and right there right, can i just scrape that oh there okay cleanup complete so next let's quickly look at superman because i believe this is the free stl they offer for you to test the print quality of anyway so we don't need to be really long with this it's henry cavill superman and again it is basically identical to the old sculpt i have if anything, I think the head looks slightly larger now on this, which is good because it looked a bit too small on the original, to be honest. And the quality, again, looks to me to be identical. Right down to the back there. A little bit of cleanup again, but otherwise, looks good. And as I say, I think this is offered as a free STL free to test quality, so you can print your own and just give it a go. Last of the direct comparisons, this is the old sculpt for Green Lantern. They did eventually bring out a newer, larger one on a bit of an overly sized base. But here we have the original HAL version. And again, I would say, well, there's a little bit of cleanup required down here on the swirl he's standing on. But otherwise, looks to me to be of good quality. 
And I have bought 3D prints of various things over the years. These are definitely decent by comparison to the ones where you can see all the filament lines and all that, like, there is obviously the, the quality of the 3D printer matters. But in terms of the quality of the files you're getting, I see no distinguishable difference between the original and these versions. So now we move on to something that's not a direct comparison and then we have stuff I can't compar compare to. So they're doing some new sculpts that are just skins essentially for existing characters. And this is a new sculpt for Barry, I think they've done along with a new sculpt for Reverse Flash. So this doesn't exist currently. I can simply show you the quality of one of their newer sculpts. So hopefully that is getting picked up. And just for comparison's sake, there is their really, really old <laughs> Flash sculpt. There was an Ezra Miller one. This is the one that's just generic prior to the, the DCEU. But just for comparison's sake, this version of the Flash is definitely larger scale. That could just be down to the print. But you can definitely tell he is of larger scale. That might be true of the new sculpts because Night Models did kind of extend or like upscale their models a bit more uh, for their other miniature games. So it wouldn't surprise me if that's true for these. Uh, for instance, I had the DC zombie releases for this game they did and those were definitely larger than these old sculpts. So I wouldn't be surprised with that with their newer sculpts. But that just means you can have more quality, hopefully. And again, he's in a bit of a weird pose but I hope it was at least in view, hopefully. There we go. And then finally, we have technically two sculpts I don't have. This is Catwoman, I think in her long Halloween costume. I do have this mini, I, I couldn't find it. <laughs> I looked for it, I definitely have it. I just could not find it, so apologies for that. I don't have a comparison, but in terms of, again, quality, it's like the other ones. Uh, this is an older sculpt in general. So the detail, I think, is just down to how old the model is. It's not the 3D print. The 3D print is fine. It is as the actual version I have somewhere looks. So just as I mentioned, there's a Catwoman. And I guess that also shows how good the even like the super thin characters come out. And the whip, obviously, it is there. And I mean, if I bent it, it would absolutely snap off. But it is there and it is fine. And then finally, before I even started playing the... <laughs> DC EU miniature, a uh, DC universe miniature game rather. Supergirl was a character, but she was out of print by the time I started playing, and I wanted this miniature, so uh, they didn't. I didn't know what they were sending me, so I got lucky. I got a miniature that I wanted. It has a stat card already that's been flowing around. It's not a new character, so no new stat card required, and it's a model I wanted. And again, it looks identical to me to the screenshots I've seen online of people who have the original release of Supergirl. So thank you for that, for sure. Uh, there is a bit of cleanup required on the back of her leg there. Just pointing that out. Just whatever I notice, I'm pointing out. Tiny bit of cleanup. Other than that, looks fine. Can I try and get it even closer for you? I think that's about as good as I can get without it blurring. So hopefully that gives you everything you need to tell the quality of the STL files. As I say, I don't have a 3D printer of my own, so it's not like I'm an expert on this. I can only compare it to what I'm used to, which were uh, the originals there that I've just finished showing you and to me it looks good. So thank you again to My Mini Factory for sending along those 3D prints of the STLs that are running on their crowdfunding campaign run by Night Models on their site. If you back it at any one of their tiers you're getting the rule book that's really all you need because you just use any generic dice and you get a bunch of different tiers for like various characters like Justice League, Lanterns, uh, DC Villains, Darkseid etc. Stuff you can see in my battle reports that I did over the years for this game if you're interested and if you want to see how it's played. And I would encourage you to check it out if you have a 3D printer that's capable of printing uh, good quality. It's a good game. I do wish it had more of a fan base because I always enjoyed playing it. It's, it's fun just playing as Superman versus Doomsday and throwing buildings at each other. It's great fun. So I'll put a link to the campaign in the description box. It's, again, not an affiliate link. This was not paid for. I was judging it as I saw it, completely honest, but go check it out for yourself if you want. I believe it's running until the end of October, so you've got plenty of time. Thank you again, and enjoy the rest of your day. Ta-ta for now.